Hello guys. So in this session, we will learn how to forward logs to Grafana Loki using Promptail. Okay, so Grafana Loki is a powerful tool for indexing system logs and visualizing them on a dashboard. Unlike traditional logs, aggregators or Loki indexes only the labels of logs and reducing the processing and storage overhead. And prompt is similar to Prometheus servers as a log collector for Loki forwarding log labels to Grafana Loki for indexing. And here we will cover the installation of Grafana Loki and Promptail. Okay, so let's start to forward logs to Grafana Loki using Promptail. Okay, so first of all here, you can see we need a prerequisite. So which prerequisite? So first of all, we need a AWS account and in this account, we need a EC2 instance with the operating system is Ubuntu. Okay, after that, we need a basic knowledge of AWS services and Grafana. So as you can see here, I, I have successfully launched my EC2 instance with the operating system is Ubuntu. You can see, welcome to Ubuntu 22.0 for LTS. Okay, and I have successfully connected to my terminal. So first of all, I'm going to clear my screen first. Okay. Now after that here, so the first step is we need to install on, install Grafana on Ubuntu. So as you know how to install the Grafana, so first of all, we need to install this GPG keys using wget. So let's download the GPG keys. Okay. After that, next, we need to add the repository. Okay. Using the following command. So enter for continue. So as you can see, it's downloading the packages. So it takes few seconds. So we are going to install Grafana on Ubuntu, right? So as you can see, it's almost done. Okay, so it's done. Okay, now the next step is, is update our system package using sudo apt update command. So it's updating our system package. Okay, it's done. Now it's time to install Grafana. So the command is sudo apt install Grafana. So let's install Grafana. So yes, I want to install my Grafana on Ubuntu 22.0 for ADS. So it's installing Grafana. Okay, so we have successfully installed Grafana. Okay. Now let's start our Grafana using the following command. So let's start the Grafana, sudo systemctl start Grafana server. So, okay, let's enable Grafana. Now let's check the status. As you can see, it's active running. Okay, now let's clear the screen. Okay, now let's access this Grafana in browser, colon. And the port number of Grafana is 3000. So as you can see the login page. Okay, so first of all, you need to enter your enter username and password. So the Grafana username and password is default username is admin and password also admin. So, okay. 
Never. So here, enter new password and confirm new password for security. So for that, I'm going to skip. It. Okay, so this is the da dashboard of our Grafana. Okay, so we have successfully installed Grafana. As you can see, welcome to Grafana. Okay, so now it's time to move to second step. So the second step is install Grafana Loki on Ubuntu. Okay, so we need to install Grafana Loki. So first of all, here I'm going to down download the Grafana Lokis using this curl command. Okay, so we have successfully installed the Grafana Loki package. If I run the ls command, as you can see, the zip files, we need to unzip the file. So first of all, you need to install unzip package. So I'm going to install unzip package using this sudo apt install unzip package command. So it's successfully installed. Now let's unzip the package. Okay, so how to unzip? So the command is here, sudo unzip and your package name. Okay, so it's done. If I in the ls command, as you can see, this unzip package. Okay, now we need to move this unzip package in, into this particular location. Which location? User local bin and the folder name is Loki. Okay, if I run the ls command, as you can see, it successfully moved. Okay, now if you want to check the details of your Loki, Rafna Loki, so as you can see, the build, you build user, build date, go version, platform tags, and so on. Okay. Now, after that, we need to make directory into this location, okay, with the name Loki, okay, and here I'm going to run this command, which command, this sudo uh, using wget command, okay, so let's run this command, here. Which command is sudo? Which uh, why? Because download the template configuration file for Loki and place into into this particular location. Which location? This slash itishi local sorry Loki local config dot yaml file. Okay, so let's download the template file particular location. Okay, after that here the next step is here we need to open our configuration file. And we need to make some changes. Okay. So here, let's scroll down. And here in alert manager URL, we need to enter our instance IP here. Remove this local host and replace with your instance IP. Okay. Now let's save the file. Press escape, colon, w, exclamation, and enter. Okay. After that, we need to create this loki.service file into this location. Okay. So, let's create the file. And here, we need to add this data from here to here. Okay. So, let's save the file and exit. Okay. Now let's reload the system package. Okay. Now let's start the Loki service. Now let's enable. And if you want to check the status, then you can run this command. Sudo system CTL. Status. Okay, so as you can see, it's active running. That means we have successfully installed the Grafana Loki. Okay, I'm going to clear my screen first. Okay, so we have successfully installed Grafana Loki, right? Okay, now it's time to move to third step. So the third step is we need to install the Promptail agent on Ubuntu. Okay, so let's install. So first of all, let's download the Promptail agent. So, to download the latest version of Frontail binary file, we need to run this first command. So, let's run this command. Okay. After that, we need to extract this file. Right. We need to unzip this file. So, let's unzip. Okay. It's done. Now, if I run the ls command, as you can see the files, that file, 
zip file and we are successfully unzip our file. Okay. Now we need to move this unzip file into this particular location, right? So let's run this command to the particular location. Okay. After that, if you want to check the details of your prompt tail, then you can run the command. So as you can see, the details of your prompt tail version. Okay. Okay. Now, now the next step is here. We need to open this. We need to create this configuration file. Okay. So here we need to edit the configuration file into this particular location slash etc prompt a local, local config file. Right. And in this file, we need to add this data. From here to here. Okay, and here we need to replace this local host with our instance ID. So let's replace this local host into our uh, into our instance IP. Okay, so let's save the file and exit. Okay, it's done. It's done. Now it's time to create our prompt test service file, right? So I'm going to create the prompt test service file into this location. And here in prompt test service file, I'm going to add this data. Okay, so let's save the file and exit. Okay, it's done, right? Then after that, let's reload our system package. Then let's start the prompt and service. To that, let's enable prompt and service. And in last, if you want to check the status of prompt and service, it's running or not. So let's enter the status. As you can see, it's active running. That means you are successfully installed prompt and service and the 12 seconds ago. Okay, it's done. So as of now, we have successfully installed Grafana, then Grafana Loki, as well as prompt and service. Okay. Now it's time to move fourth step. The fourth step is we need to configure Loki data source in Grafana. Okay. So till now, we have installed the Grafana, Loki, and prompt on your RC team. So let's configure the Loki and start visualizing the data in Grafana. Okay. So first of all, let, let's get to the Grafana. And here, click on this open menu and click on the connections, click on add data source, click on add data source. And here we need to search Loki. As you can see, like Prometheus, but for logs, OSS a logging solution for Grafana Labs. So we need to select this Loki. Okay. After that here, we need to enter the valid URL of Loki. Okay. So here. HTTPS, sorry, HTTP, colon, slash, and our instance URL, and the port number is 3100, okay, we need to enter the port number is 3100. Now, let's scroll down, keep as it is, click on save and test, as you can see, data source successfully connected. Okay, now go to the home page. After that here, go to the menu and click on this explore. Okay, and here select Loki. It's a default. Okay, but if you if you have this graph nor mix, then you need to select the Loki and click on this start your query. And here you need to, there will log query started as matrix query. And here we will select the first one from log query start. Okay. So here we need to select the first, uh, first query, pass log lines with log form parser. So we need to use this query, click on this. Okay, after that here we need to select labels and values. So I'm going to select label job and the value is var logs. Okay. After that here, click on this run query. Mm 
Let's refresh the page. Job parallels. Right. Okay. Now click on run query. Okay. As you can see, the logs, right? So you are visualizing the data logs in graph format and it also showing the logs with timestamp. Okay, so as you can see, logs and timestamp also. Okay, so if you want to five minutes I go, then you need to choose and click on run query. Okay, so it's done. So here, in this session, we have learned how to forward logs, logs to Grafana Loki using prompting. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.